food plays a major role in our lives, and what we eat differs from culture to culture. What foods are traditional for you, and what do you crave whenever you're away from home? This is Culinary Crossing. Join us on our first tour through Europe with our culinary team, Jeremy, TJ, and me, Megan. The goal, travel, taste, and learn. June 5th, uh, yesterday was uh, June 4th, our last day. We are on our train to Luxembourg. We just left Brussels. We're leaving right now, actually, on the train. Uh, yesterday was a very productive day. We woke up, you know, feeling a lot better than we did the day before. I had an early morning, interviewed a place that made Belgian waffles. We had a variety, and uh, then we got to interview a chocolatier who was kind of just demoing um, how he tempered the chocolate, which was really fun. And he let us taste a couple chocolates and we bought some chocolates as well. So yeah, we got to watch an actual legit Belgium chocolatier make some chocolate and just got to speak with them a little bit about that. And we also tried some French fries, Belgium fries, Papa's Frites, I believe that's what it's called. Um, which is really good. I had to try all the different type of sauces that they use. Um, um, then we went and had an interview with the chef at the White Rose in Belgium and ate some really good food there, tried some, tried some Belgium dishes. Uh, so I think overall we had a really we had a good, great time in Brussels. We actually went to visit the, um, what is it, the Atronium? Atonium. Atonium, which is a big attraction here in Brussels. Um, it's like the Eiffel Tower of Paris, so we got to go and see that. Um, for a little bit because it was raining, it was raining pretty, pretty much all day, so um, we tried to stay indoors as much as we could. But we still saw the sights, which was awesome. So after that, we uh, went back to the hostel, uh, pretty much got everything together, and um, just relaxed and chilled in the the, uh, the commons area, where everyone was playing pool, drinking at the bar, and whatnot. So we just got to lay back and enjoy our last night um, at the hostel in Brussels. Mingling, drinking having some fun enjoying the hostel. They have a great bar and a common area. So, as you can see, we're on a train doing this interview, so it's, it's fun I'm talking on a train. So we're going on our way to Luxembourg. We're gonna go for the day, try some Lux like food there, and then head off in the evening to Frank Frankfurt, Germany, where we will be staying for the next three nights. Frankfurt first? Luxembourg. Luxembourg first and then Frankfurt. Um, so yeah, we're, I don't know where we're going, I'm just going, I'm just going along for the ride. So um, wherever I end up, it's gonna be great. Right now, like I said, we're on the train, enjoying the scenery. It feels like I'm Harry Potter going to Hogwarts right now. So it's a pretty great feeling. And the next time I guess I will, you'll see me will be in Germany and I can't wait. <laughs>